A couple is getting married in the church. This is an example of a rural urban proportional because it combines two proportional systems, single transferable vote and mixed member proportional. The couple is looking to buy three houses. One is for all the days, another one for holidays, and the third one to rent. This is related to the rural urban proportional because in this system, parties can run multiple candidates in district and voters rank their preferred with the ones they want to rank. The couple take members of their family so they can vote for which house they should buy. This is related to the RUP system because in that system they rank as many as they wish. With the money they have, they buy the first and second house, but they don't have enough money to buy the third one. So with the remain money, they decide to add a garage to the first house. This is related to the RUP system because the first party that reaches the quota and also the second one, but the third one, no. So they give their votes to the first party in the list. So that's why it's related. In the houses they bought, there are some problems, but the couple doesn't have enough money to fix them because not all the members of the family helped them to buy the houses. This related to the RUP system because in that system, if it says that vote is not a right, but you must because it's your contribute to create a better country. This story was an example of a rural urban proportional system, but we didn't include all the points that explain this this system. So, in this part, we are going to tell the points we didn't mention. One point that we didn't include was that in rural and semi-rural, they use single transferable vote to elect multiple MLAs for the for their life larger electoral district. And in the other way, in rural district, they use mixed member proportional system. In this type of system, um, several rounds of counting are usually required. Also, provincial results are proportional, and there are between 87 and 95 MLAs elected. And in rural areas in British Columbia, they have one MLA repre representing their electoral district and other MLAs representing their region.